Well, I guess I'm not going anywhere. Well, that's not good. Ah. Uh, deader than a doornail. Now I can't get the keys out. Oh, crap. Okay, well, in the midst of changing the brakes, there was a brake light out earlier. And I turned on the lights because I was trying to figure out which one it was. And dumb old me, I forgot to turn the lights off when I got out of the car. So now the battery's dead. All right, so the battery is under here. There we got our terminals. This one's our negative ter terminal, this one's our positive. And I'm gonna hook the battery charger up to this thing. Hey, the lights are on again. Why, I have no idea. Okay, so luckily, a few weeks ago, I ordered a NOCO battery charger. This is the NOCO Genius G7200. And this is a battery charger. Luckily I have it, because otherwise I'd be screwed. Uh, I'd have to figure out a way to go over to the farm or have someone come and pick me up to get the battery charger from over there. So, I'm gonna charge the battery. Now I actually read up a little bit on this thing, and I wanted to read up a little bit so I don't like explode my car battery or anything. But this thing actually does a trickle charge at first. Okay, so basically you plug it in, you hook it up, it works. That's as easy as this is, I take it. But um, what it does is it has this smart mode. What you do is you plug it in and then it'll, if your battery's completely dead, it'll start giving it small amounts of current. And it'll keep increasing the amount of current that it sends to the battery until it gets, gets it to about 80%. And then it, uh, fills it up the rest of the way with a trickle charge. So um, if anybody has like a boat or anything, I think this would be pretty good for you. Um, they say it's good for just about anything, which is why I got it, because I didn't know what I'd be what I'd be using to hook it up to. And um, this is rated for tractors as well, which is pretty nice. So we're gonna get this sorted out and we're gonna hook it up. All right, so we're gonna plug it in. And I'm not a battery expert by any means, so just a little heads up. So we got the light that the power's on. And if it's as simple as they tell me, all I should have to do is hook up the negative side first, which is indeed the side. Go up to right there. And hook up the positive terminal terminal. All right, so it looks like it's working. All right, so from what I can see, the battery is pretty dead, it's at 25%. I am just gonna let this thing sit and run. I don't wanna mess up anything more than I've already done. My car is still kinda freaking out. The locks were going and then the gauges were all bouncing around, so. I was hoping I could get to go get some groceries because I've been out of town and uh, maybe this thing will charge up within an hour or two I don't know we'll see but for now I'm just gonna let it sit and charge now the reason I actually decided to make this video is because I thought to myself you know not everybody knows how to charge a battery and a battery is in literally every motor vehicle out there today well, almost for those antique guys but um yeah, it's just one of those things that you should know how to do. And if you guys have a wife that doesn't know how to do this kind of thing, you could be like, hey, honey, come here. I want to show you something. Show her this video and she can do it herself with one of these chargers. So, uh, yeah, now it's just the waiting game until it's charged. Okay, so it's the next morning. And last night I came out here about an hour after I hooked it up. And the car started. 
But what I noticed is that the battery charger was still on 25%. So what I let it do is I just let it sit overnight and now it's on 100%. And I didn't want to take it off early or anything because it probably still had to trickle charge the battery full. And uh, I'm gonna disconnect it now. All right, let's hop in my car and see what she says. Everything's reset. Battery normal. Perfect. Cool. See, I'm pretty. Ha I'm actually pretty happy with this charger. Noco Genius G7200. For those of you who are wondering. I'll put a link in the description because the thing's just so darn easy to use. Apparently you put it on the first time and it remembers everything, so let's say you charge your car's battery up once, then your wife can come along and just hook it up and it'll automatically start charging. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys.